the work that I make is a combination of elements that are very nostalgic, that are rooted in where I come from, Iran. My earliest work with the photograph of the woman of Allah was really a, a reaction or response to the Iranian revolution. Then the video work like Turbulent or Rapture or Fervor were less directly political but still related to the socio-political situation of Iran. Lately, I think as the subject of the film changes, where they become more philosophical and less sociological, um, I seem to go more toward nature or landscape in the way that it helps the concept. So I think the use of space, whether it's natural landscape or natural landscape or uh, built landscape, it all has to do with the concept. I have to say with Tuba, it's one of the, I think, among all the films I've made, this is a film that has truly come out the way I would have dreamed to have it come out. It's such a strong level of complexity of emotions that are, um, very strong and, and I, I just feel that um, all of that sensitivity, fragility and beauty, spirituality has been delivered by everybody who worked on this project. First of all, I'm um, very, very happy and very proud to have worked on this film uh, because I've, since, since uh, quite some time I've admired uh, Shirin's work. Uh, you know, I first uh, heard about her like a uh, like you hear about um, a legend. One really interesting aspect of Shirin, uh, Shirin's work and the work that we do uh, is uh, this integration of cultures, you know, uh, that we travel you know, to different places, different uh, Morocco, Turkey, and this time to Mexico. Originally when I had this idea to make this a film that was focusing around a garden, a tree, a woman inside of the tree, I was thinking about Iran. Um, and actually we made many steps toward it. Uh, and it was somewhat moving forward and then it was blocked by whatever reason. Um, and at this point I was thinking about various options that um, would I then return to a place where I would have to really um, think about the location as number one issue and sort of compromise, <clears throat> compromise the ideas or do I just go all the way the opposite direction where I just go to a very neutral non-Islamic country, take certain risk <clears throat> and, and just think about the idea, the integrity of the idea. Yeah, but I think he's taking us a different way because I turned there, remember? I went down that road, so this is different. 
when we first arrived with Shahram and Shoja to meet up with Alice in Mexico, I had no idea what to expect. Um, I had an uh, impression by what I was being told that it, this area of Oaxaca is partially heavily forested, but there are some areas that are somewhat dry so that we could hope to look for landscape that similar to Iran. So we had about a week or 10 days of interesting journey of traveling in many different areas in the state of Oaxaca to look for a tree. درخت توی جایی که به حال این همه باغ و فضای سبز داشت به هر حال یه تصور خاصی بود روی ایده we came across um, to a photograph of a location that we had not paid much attention to and suddenly we saw a tree and we thought if we had any chance we, this would be it و خودش کافی بود برای مفهوم باغ و یه درخت تنومن بعد قرار شد با می باید یه دیوار باشه حسار باشه که ساخته شد و اون جاده ولی مسئله اصلی این بود که یه درخت می باید توی یه زن باید توی این درخت باشه The budget was not like a huge budget to do it but it didn't matter everything was enough to, to do what we had to do and uh, like for instance an example like we had a um, the earth, the, the, the ground on the, on the church was like hard uh, concrete and immediately uh, there was a response to it, you know, I, I didn't, um, I, I was not very uh, at ease filming this, it was maybe the first thing, immediately her, product, her art director Sham found a, a way just with charcoal, just with black charcoal, black powder covering the, the, the ground, it, it became like one Again, it became like we belong to the rest of the film, and immediately the light bounced beautifully. It was just beautiful. Despacito, muy despacito, se fue metiendo en mi corazón con mentiras y cariñitos. Le fui queriendo. We've always had this. Uh, amazing rapport with the uh, Moroccan cast because we worked so much in Morocco and and even though they didn't speak Farsi and they were speaking Arabic or French um, we always developed a very close bonding and and I was wondering whether that was going to happen even though these people um, were from a totally different culture that I was so unfamiliar with. There is a woman, a woman uh, who is inside a tree, who is a tree. The tree is the woman. In fact, uh, the name of the film, uh, Tuba, reflects this very mythological uh, uh, character. For me, she represented a spirit, and the spirit that, um, a spirit that had a body, and yet no longer had a body. For me, the woman in the tree and her face uh, the, 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 her face was, uh, of course, incredibly uh, beautiful, uh, exciting to film this woman by herself. What more than her face? What uh, co came, what came out of her face? So we talked a lot with Susan, and she once again came through. Uh, really feeling the ideas very intuitively, working with the group, with Susan, with Shahram, with me, and Dariush, and Sam, to find the right elements that somehow um, didn't overpower the image, that allowed the abstraction of the image to do their thing, um, and yet allowed the emotionality of the piece to come through. And I was so happy with the music that Susan did. When I saw the finished project, when I saw Tuba, the first cut, with the sound, with the music. I was so blown away by the beauty of it. I mean, I was like, I could have cried, so I, I found it so beautiful, you know, and so exciting again, you know. Mm -hmm.